A serious pest is affecting a specific type of shrub in the Golden Horseshoe and across the country. Boxwood garden shrubs live on many properties in our area, and if you noticed yours decaying and turning brown, it may be infested with the box tree moth. Eric Vienno explains. Taylor Moore says when she noticed the boxwoods in her front yard were looking rough, she thought she wasn't watering them enough until her three-year-old found the culprit. My son, who's obsessed with looking at bugs right now, had noticed that there were some caterpillars crawling on them. These unassuming creatures are actually an invasive species native to Asia. They've been around in Canada since 2018. And while they're not harmful to humans, they can cause significant damage to the shrubs. It's gotten worse. The, the range that it's um, uh, decimating at this point has expanded exponentially every year. We noticed that there was probably a few hundred. Box tree moth infestations include chewed leaves, larvae, webbing, and sawdust-like debris. This is what the boxwood moth caterpillar looks like. It appears to be a light green color with some black stripes on its back. Now, eventually, it will turn into a boxwood moth, which can then fly and travel far distances and spread even more. The adult moths can fly 7 to 10 kilometers. Royal Botanical Gardens plant record specialist John Peter says it's important to address the problem early. The earlier, the smaller the caterpillars are, the better success you're going to have at killing them off. The number one recommended treatment is a product called BTK, but the challenge with that is there's a supply issue. Moore says getting the product has been difficult. It's actually sold out most places, so it's been pretty hard to get our hands on. Home Hardware just got a shipment in, so they're holding one for us. We had asked them to hold a few, but um, they are holding a, a maximum of one per customer right now. You can also manually pick the caterpillars, moths, and larvae from the boxwoods. The other option... And it's also an opportunity to get creative. So you can go from a boxwood to a yew to a holly to other evergreens or change lanes, lanes completely and plant something that's good for the pollinators. Environment Canada recently released an advisory saying Ontario, Quebec, New Brunswick, Nova Scotia and Newfoundland and Labrador are considered the areas regulated for box tree moths. It's asking anyone who spots the pest outside of Ontario to report it. Eric Vienno, CHCH News, Burlington.